Here in New Zealand, construction remains one of the most dangerous places to work, and that doesn't look like it'll change anytime soon. One of the keys to reducing that danger on sites is looking out for stuff that can kill you, or stuff that is sticky. And that requires situational awareness. Situational awareness comes in three steps. The first step is hazard identification. It's a vital skill required for nearly every safety activity. So being able to recognize the presence of a hazard and whether or not it's something that's sticky, remember that stuff that can kill you, then judging the danger of that hazard or how serious you think the risk is. And that's different for every person based on their experiences and surroundings. Once we get hazard ID right, then we can move on to step two, risk perception. This is how we view the risk. And then step three, risk tolerance, which is whether we take action or not. Take these two for example. This worker grew up in Aussie, while this one grew up in New Zealand. Their initial reactions to seeing a snake will be different based on their experiences. Or what they may be used to seeing than judging the risk of that. And you don't get too many snakes in New Zealand. This influences their risk tolerance, which is how they behave around the risk and in turn what action they'd take to reduce the risk of injury from the hazard. All injuries are the result of contact between a person and one or more sources of energy. So, to flip that around then, we can say that a hazard is a source of energy that can cause injury, illness, or even death. Is it sticky? While a hazard is a source of danger, the concept of energy gives us a more scientific understanding of hazards. Even the way we work uses energy. We need energy to lift, transport, and assemble materials, and some materials even store energy in their natural state. Workers themselves have energy, you have energy, this can feel quite abstract, so to make it easier to remember, this is where the energy wheel comes in. We've taken the simple forms that energy commonly occurs on site and popped them into 10 categories. Gravity, motion, mechanical, electrical, pressure, sound, radiation, biological, chemical, and temperature. Each of these icons serves as an easy to identify prompt that enhances hazard recognition by up to 30%. Taking what we are already doing intuitively on site and helping us to do it better by adding structure and strategy to the way we recognize and anticipate hazards. Start by using your own instinct first to identify as many hazards relating to your environment and the work you are doing. This is best done as a team or group. Then, using the energy wheel, look for sources of energy and see how many extra hazards you can find. Remember, the energy wheel just helps us do what we're already doing, just better. Also, Energy sources are just categories, not a hazard themselves. Whether it's first thing at a toolbox meeting, during a walk around, before starting a new task, or as we work, the energy wheel supports workers to have meaningful conversations and sharing of knowledge, enabling workers to get really specific about hazards and what we do about them. Head over to the Chazin site now to grab your copy of the energy wheel.